Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today, yes, I have another character box for you. And I, I'm doing this so that you get them made ahead of time because I really love this one. I think he's one of my favorite. And I'll show it to you in a minute. But I need to tell all of you who are new, if you are new, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and share and tell all your friends about my channel so that they come visit my channel. It really, really helps my channel. So thank you all in advance for that. So if you all are new, you don't know about my character boxes that I have been doing for quite a few years now and they all started with one little guy. I'm going to show you him in just a minute. I'm going to scoot him over, but I'm going to show again some of the ones that I did. I have several more but I didn't want to bring them all over here. But they all started with Uncle Sam right here. He was my first one that I ever did. I thought he turned out super cute. And then I just got going and I could not stop with these. So I made a Santa, which is this one here. He is so cute, he's one of my favorite. I did pull up the ones that are like some of my favorites. And then I also did Scarecrow for um, the fall. And I think I did this guy. I think he, it was a year or two ago I've done this. And then I did a reindeer. Someone asked, I think, for a reindeer. So I did this one for a reindeer. And also I did Dracula for Halloween. And I, he's so cute. I love this guy too. He's so cute. And I did a snowman. So here's my snowman. This one's one of my very, very favorite. I am a big snowman person, but I love this guy. He's so cute. And then I did the Grinch because I love the Grinch. <laughs> so I did him, I think him like two years ago. I can't remember what order these were all done, but I have several more. I have them for um, Easter. I have bunnies. I have, I don't know. Some of you can comment below all the other ones because I know some of you have done a lot of these because you've, made, you've commented on them <laughs> and said that you've had made a lot of them. So now I have, and I did a pumpkin recently too, and that was for fall this year. But now I have another Christmas one and it's the little penguin. Over the years, I've had people ask for a penguin. And this took me a while, y'all, to figure out how to do him because I didn't have all the right dies. And I'm going to show you the dies. You're only going to need like five dies to do this. So you do need the deckled circles. So I have this one here, and then this is a little deckled circle. And then this one is an oval. And I'll tell you what stamp sets these are, or what dies these are from. And then these two right here, the little label for you, and then this for the bow that I put on them. So these are all the ones that you need for this. I'll tell you real quick what stamp sets or what bundles these are from. So of course, this one and this one are from the Sending Cheer, and it's this die set right here, and the bundle it goes with is this one and you've seen it if you've been around my channel you've seen this I've used just about everything in this it's one of my favorite I'm also using the sentiment from this so if you are new you can get this as a bundle and you can save 10% and I have a lot of projects with this one these are the deckled circles and these are in our new holiday catalog and you may have missed them because I missed them actually the first time but um, and then for his little Snowflake, I'm using the Sparkling Snowflake. I'm changing this up, I think, a bit. And I think I'm going to use, out of the Sending Cheer, I think I'm going to use the Holly and the Berries this time on the hat. We're going to see when we get there. <laughs> and then this die right here, which is this little oval, is from the All That Dies. And this also is a bundle, and it is a masculine bundle. And uh, let me think of the name of this one that this goes to. It is, uh, he's all that. So it's a very masculine bundle, but I loved this oval worked perfectly for this. So that's what I'm using. Um, if you have any ovals or anything like that, you can use what you have. 
All right, so we are going to get started with this. I do, I do have to bring the cut and emboss up here because there's a lot of cutting and stuff that we need to do. So I am changing the color on this. I am going to do a garden green base and then I am using some other of the desi same designer paper but I'm using a different pattern. So this is the one I used here and this is the Berry Christmas and I love these so I'm using this uh, pattern right here for the scarf and the hat. Okay, and when we, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you the measurements here and then we'll get going with the cut and emboss work. So the measurements for the box is it's 8 by 8 and then this piece is 1 half by 11. So if you cut this properly, if you cut it on the 8 and a half inch side, you're going to get this piece. It's going to be extra on there. So do it that way so you can save yourself cutting up another piece of cardstock. We are going to also use this piece is four by three. This is going to be for the hat. And then these pieces right here, I haven't decided which pattern I'm going to use. So I cut two different ones. I'll do that one when we get to it. But um, this is three quarters by four. And this one is three quarters by two. All right. So those I think are all the measurements pretty much that you're going to need for this. Because we're going to do a lot of this like I said on the cut and emboss. You do need basic black and basic white and that is for our little penguin. For the little banner on his hat, this little part on his hat, the little ball on here. And I'm going to do something a little extra with his hat this time and I'll show you that when we get to it. So be patient with this video. It might be a little bit longer because we are doing a lot of piecing together and all that, but it is super fun to do. So let me grab the cut and emboss. Let me turn this this way because I always turn it the wrong way and I have to reach over. So let's turn it this way. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to cut two of these circles out of the deckled circles, I'll tell you the size of these. They are approximately three and three quarter inch circles. So we're gonna run this one through. And then we are gonna run the basic black one through. And I'll show you how we get his little face. So for his face, this is where this little oval comes in. And what you're going to do, I need to get my tape here so I can hold these in place. You are going to go ahead and you're going to Put this on a slant. It's not going to be straight up and down and I'll show you why. So we're going to do the first one. We're going to run this one through. And so now you have that. So then you're going to take this again and you are going to tilt it the opposite way, this way, this time. And I try to look to see if it is like even on the sides here, because you want it to be pretty even so his face is even. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like that. I think that's about right. We're gonna run that through. So you are overlapping the ovals. And so it's going to look like that. But what you want to do is you want to cut this bottom part off. So I just take my snips and I just go in here and it's do this doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. First of all, you're not going to see the bottom part. And if you just get it close, there's her, his little face. So this is going to go on top of here like that. 
and we are going to glue that in place. We're not going to do that yet because I need to show you the other parts first. All right, so what we're going to do for the hat is we're using this exact same oval and you want to do it, I'd say three quarters of the way up here and then we're going to run that through. Don't cut, you know, this part you want only three quarters of the way up. And this is how we make his hat or her hat. And then so that's the top of the hat. And then what you need is a piece of basic white. And what I like to do on this is I usually put this on here just like that so I can see about where it's at and then I just pull this off and you don't want it real thick so I'm just going to move it I'm just going to center this and move it. You can cut two pieces that are three by four in, in basic white and in this, and it would save you guesstimating. So I am going to do this one. If you do that, you'll know pretty much where you're going to be with it. I'm just going to go back this way. It's easier. And I'm going to use that again. because this is going to go on here like that and I'm going to cut it I'm going to use my mint tape again to hold it in place and I am going to put that where it goes there pull this one out and then run that through this is not hard at all y'all don't be afraid to try this because it's so easy and you'll you just have to guesstimate a little bit on it and it, it just ends up working out just fine all right so this is going to be up oh, we forgot one thing huh. for a minute I was like why didn't that work out <laughs> we need to do this part too so you need to cut out a little and now this one is about halfway up and you need to do this first because we need that rounded there. Totally forgot, y'all. So do that part first before you cut your this little part here. So that's going to fit on there like that. And so that's how his hat is done and you can move it down depending on how far you want it to go down I'll show you that when we get to that part and then I'm gonna also run this little one right here through and that's the little pom-pom on the top of his hat the little part for the sentiment so we need to do this one too If I was smart, I would have done those all together. <laughs> it's okay. It all works out. All right. Now for the bow. So we're going to use this bow right here. And here's our little bow. All right. Now we can put this all away. We got all our pieces. It actually goes really quickly. I've already, this is the third one that I'm making. Okay, I hope you got that. My camera just shut off again. I need to get a new camera. This thing keeps shutting off on its own. So I hope you saw me glue this to the basic white deckled circle. And I just punched out two black eyes with the half inch circle punch, but we don't carry that. I will link one in the description um, that's similar. And then we're going to put his eyes on. And he starts to come alive. I love this part of it. I'm also going to use a piece of scrap. And I'm going to use a regular hole punch. And these are for the pupils of his eyes. So we're going to put those on. 
One there and there. Oops, I gotta punch another one, y'all. That one wasn't a full circle. Okay, so here is his eyes. And for the nose, I am using this punch, which is a ladybug punch. We still have this punch, and I'm using some base uh, pumpkin pie. And I am just gonna cut a piece. I'm cutting his wings right here out. Those are that's gonna be his nose. And you're gonna cut this in half. You have two noses there, so if you're gonna make another one, and then I'm gonna cut that off right there. And this should be big enough for his little beak. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, I think that's good. And then we're going to put his nose on right here in the middle where his nose goes, or his beak. He's so cute. I love how these come together. All right, now we are going to put give him some cheeks. So I'm going to put, using my Petal Pink Blend here. So he's got some little cheeks there. And we are ready to put on his put his hat together. So this is how his hat is gonna go. Just like that. So I am gonna glue this part. To here. Like that, I think that's enough of his hat showing. If anything overlaps on the side here, you can just trim that up. But or on the bottom here, I'm just going to trim this just a little bit like this. And then that is going to go on here like this. But I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to put the little. So I wanted to see what it looked like if we glitter up the hat. So I'm using some of my Dazzling Diamonds and I am going to use my glue. I use a little bit of little brush to kind of spread the glue around. And I'm going to put glitter on the top and the bottom. To. You can use any kind of glitter that you have. I love this. It's so fine and it's so cute. But I thought everything needs a little glitter, right? Especially for the holidays. So you probably can't even tell it's on there, but it's on there. It looks cute. All right, so now we're gonna put his hat on him. Just like that. And then I'm gonna cut this ribbon. I'm just gonna cut it because I just want the bow part. So I'm gonna cut this part off. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to stamp the sentiment scoot him over a minute. Let's just stamp the sentiment and we'll have that ready. And I'm just using the For You. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to put a snowflake on this guy's hat or if I want to use, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a snowflake. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the snowflake and I'm gonna make it I think I'm gonna make it red real red okay so I have my real red you do have to fussy cut the snowflake there are not dies for this one but it's a really easy to cut I think because the snowflake goes with a penguin right so I'm just gonna fussy cut this really quick
Okay, so we have our snowflake cut out, ready to go on his little hat. I'm going to use a dimensional to put it on his hat because you want it to pop up. I'm going to put that right there. And we're going to set this aside. We're going to make our box and we are going to be finished with him. Can you see the glitter on that? I think you can a little bit. All right, let's make the box. So this box is super easy. If you've seen my others, you know how easy they are. All right, so we are going to score this. And on one of the eight inch sides, you're gonna score it at two and six. Then you're gonna turn it and you're gonna score it at three and five. Now, I have a specific way to put this together, and I changed this over the years because it just looks nice and clean on the inside if you do it this way. So we're going to cut this first. So on the sides, you just want to cut into these like this. I'm going to do the other one the same. So all of these are basically the same size. I think I only did the reindeer a different size because I needed a bigger space for his face and stuff. All right, now sharpen all these score marks. And this is how I do it. You need your handle now. And I'm using wet glue. And you're gonna put it on the outside of these glue tabs here. I'm going to pull these up. Make sure it's nice and square when you pull it up. And then we're going to add our handle. So put your handle on here. You can make it as long as you like. And I find this really holds these on really well. You can see all the handles on my boxes. Some of them I did two handles, some of them I did one. Most of them lately I've been just doing one handle. I think I like the one handle better. But you can do however you like it. And then we're just gonna pull, oops, I did that wrong, y'all. Now I need to wipe this off. That's too much talking. <laughs> and these, it goes on the outside of this. That'll be just fine. It'll dry and it'll be just fine. <laughs> and then these go up like that. So it locks in the handle in there. Just make sure your things are all square. But see how nice and clean on the inside? I don't know if you can even see it, but yeah, it looks nice and clean on the inside. It's already dry too. All right, so this is how, where we're gonna put on our little guy. So I'm gonna put him on first. And I'm gonna leave a little space, center him on there, because we need to put on his scarf, which I think I'm gonna use the one that has the trees on it. And what I do is I just rounded the edge here just round it so it just looks like the end of a scarf, like how you fold a scarf. And then you want to banner the end. And this one's gonna go right here. So I'm gonna put that on across there like that. And this one, I cut a little slant on here so it fits underneath there. And then cut banner this one as well. And then just add that underneath here to his scarf. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh. I am so happy how he turned out. But all right, now I'm going to put the for you on here because it's so cute. Just like that, and then the bow. The bow's gonna go right there. Don't cover up your for you though. 
also there. And there you have it. Isn't he cute? Here's the other, the blue one. Which one you like better? I think they're both cute. So you can, whatever way you can tell, this hat's a little bit taller. So just guesstimate it. Just do it how you like it. It's, it just doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just so you get him. He's so cute. I hope you like this one. I love the little penguin. He is one of my favorite now. So... I hope you enjoy, enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you need any supplies for this, this is my October host code. And October is almost over, and I am doing gift with purchase this month. You have to use this host code, so please use the host code when you order, or you will not receive the free gift. So, Because this is how I am able to send a free gift, is when you use the host code. So to explain that a little bit better. So this one I glittered up. I really like the glitter on it. You can even put a pom-pom up here if you want. There's so many ideas for you to make it your own. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later, everyone. Bye.